Hello, beautiful souls. I'm Jenna, and I am your mindful meditation coach. Thanks for joining. Today, we are talking about intuition. What is intuition? Intuition is the spiritual connection that connects us and our egos to that of the spiritual world. Intuition is led first and foremost from the heart base center and is then transmuted into the third eye. It is transmuted into all of our senses, into our ears that we hear out of, our eyes that we see, our mouth that we taste, our fingers that we touch. It is the five senses. The heart-based institution has proven that there is no disconnection between our heart-based center and the world around us connecting all of us by the frequency that is surrounding us, by the electrical field that we are walking through every single day. What does this all mean? What does this mean? Jenna, what is all that you are saying? I don't understand. Let me tell you. Our heart is our first organ to develop in the womb. What does that mean? It means that the single basis of who we are and how we are supposed to guide ourselves through life is first and foremost from our heart. This contradicts the, what normal people would say is that we are supposed to act from a logical vantage point. We are supposed to act from our logic, our head, our thoughts. But we first have to feel it first comes from the feeling place. It first starts with the feeling place of our heart-based center. We feel, and then after we feel, we then translate that feeling into the thoughts that we think. And then the thoughts that we think then create the reality that we all see. How does this all tie into intuition? Intuition is feeling. Intuition is that gut-wrenching not in your stomach or in your heart that something is not right or something's going to happen or meeting someone and feeling like I've met them before. It is a knowing that cannot be explained. Intuition is the single direction that will guide us through life. How can we tap into our intuition? Meditation, meditation, meditation. The more that you meditate, the more connected you are to your higher self. The more connected you are to the universe and the environment that surrounds you, to the people, to the animals, to the plants, etc. Because there is no separation. There is no separation. And so when we are trusting our intuition, we are getting the communication from those around us. When we are feeling something within us that something is not right, it is our intuition telling us we are either on or off the path. This morning, I set out to go to an interview. So I'm all dressed up. I was excited to go to this interview. I was originally supposed to go to this interview last Friday. And the night before the interview, I had looked up on my GPS how long it was going to take me. It said 30 minutes. So I set my alarm, I got all ready, I was ready to go. Right before I left, I checked my navigation and it said it would take an hour. At that point, it was too late to go to my interview. So I emailed the lady and I asked if she could reschedule for Monday. She said yes. So again, I woke up this morning and I was all ready to go. I left the house, I got ready. I was in a great mood, just a completely grand mood. While I was driving, I had this knot, just knot in my chest. Don't go, don't go, don't go. And I thought, why am I not supposed to go? I need this job, I need the money. I can't walk away from this. But I had to trust my intuition. I had to trust that what I was feeling was real. 
And then you may say, hey, maybe you missed an opportunity. Well, maybe I did. But when you are in connection with your higher self, when you are connected to the higher part of who you are, you get the feeling when something just is not right. And it is more detrimental and more damaging to you when you do something that you know in your heart you are not supposed to be doing. And we've all experienced this. We've all had these moments. So how can we develop our intuition? We can develop our intuition by just meditating. Meditating and connecting us. Imagining a light moving up our body, moving up past our root chakra, to our shaker chakra, to our solar plexus, to our heart, to our throat, to our third eye, to our crown chakra. And imagine that beam connecting us all the way up, past the sky, past the clouds, past the stars, past the ethos, and connecting us right in alignment with our higher self. I do this every single morning. I ground myself into Mother Earth. I ground myself into Gaia to keep me grounded. But also, keeping that stream of consciousness all the way up to my higher self so that anything that I am not led to do, anything that is off my path, I will have that heart-wrenching pain or I will heal. Don't go there. Or things will come in your way. So you ask, how do you know intuition from your thoughts? Well, when you are truly trusting your intuition, you will then see throughout your life, you will see signs that you are off your path. One, me not going last Friday, it not working out. I then today was going to be late when I never should have been late again. I then got a phone call from someone and that phone call was something about going somewhere else today. Again, it was my way of telling me that I was off my path. I was then reminded of the job that I truly want. And if I was to go to this job, I would be settling. Settling for a job that wasn't in alignment with my heart anymore. Wasn't in alignment with my soul. Allowing me to stay open to that which I really desire. You can trust your intuition by continuing to write in your journal. Journaling when these moments come up in your everyday life and seeing the outcome. Writing down what you're feeling and then watching throughout the day what occurs and then writing the result of it. Another way to find out if your intuition is right is reaching out to friends. Seeing what they say, asking source, asking God, asking the universe, asking whatever you believe in to show itself to you. Do not be scared to ask the universe for signs. Reach out to a friend. See what they say. See if it's in alignment with your feeling. But remember, if you are in a negative place, your intuition might not be right. That may be your thoughts. You have to try to figure out what feeling place you are in when you are getting the intuition. Are you on your high flying disc? Are you happy? Are you smiling? Are you feeling good? Or are you feeling negative? Because if you are already in a negative place, that may not be your intuition. It's about trusting. Trusting yourself. Trust, trust, trust. Trust in yourself above and beyond anything and anyone. And it is my promise that when you are in alignment with yourself and you start trusting yourself, your intuition will emerge and every single part of your body will show itself to you through physical elements. Your stomach will hurt, your chest will be beating, your third eye, very often my third eye right here, I will just feel glitching. I will legit just feel just blinking. Something will happen that will throw you off the path. And I am telling you that if you are off your path, the universe will only get louder and louder and louder to reveal to you that you are off your path. So if you're not listening, that's okay. The universe, God, 
will get louder, making the signs more clear that you are to get off that path that you are on. Trust in yourself. Trust in your higher self. You are a divine creator. You are a soul and a body. You are not a body with a soul. We are all connected. We are not separate from each other. We are connected to ourselves, to the people, to the animals, to the plants, to the ground. We are all frequency or we are our vibration. And when you tune yourself, when you tune yourself to your intuition, you can heal and feel that connection with everything around you. And you can heal just like the words I'm speaking when you are on or off your path. First trusting in yourself. Thank you for joining today. I am Jenna, and if you like my videos, make sure to continue to like, subscribe, and share.